Well, howdy folks, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if it's your first time. I'm gonna take a look at a couple of DIY kits today. So here is the mini APC from Racket and here is the uh, Baby 8 sequencer from Racket. And we're gonna take a look at both of these today, both how they work individually and how they can also be used together. So, should be a fun video. Real quick, before we get started, I just want to mention that I did a couple of previous kits from Racket, posted those videos, and the people from Racket actually saw my videos and got a hold of me. And uh, the lady said, let me send you a care package. And in that care package, she sent me a few t-shirts, one of which I'm ordering right now. And these two kits that I'm going to go over today, and also a couple more kits. So hey, maybe a video a giveaway is in the future, so stay tuned for that. But anyway, today we're gonna be taking a look at these, and again, I did wanna say thank you uh, to Racket in the UK, both for sending that care package and for just making great stuff. First up, let's take a look at the mini APC. So, uh, I'll put a um, video on the screen of me building it, but this was an extremely simple build, extremely simple. Um, so an APC is a concept that's been around. It's basically two 555 oscillators. They actually use a 556 chip, but that's effectively a 556 chip is just two 555s. Uh, you got two pots to control the way the um, sort of oscillators beat against each other. Um, you've got a stereo output jack on this one, a power switch, and then it's got about six resistors, three capacitors, very, very simple circuit. I think it took me like less than 15 minutes to build this thing. Real quick, let me just show you guys, I also did a couple of my own things. So I noticed that it didn't have an LED for power, so I added one, and what I did is I just added this blue LED to the audio out jack, because it also comes with a small speaker if you wanna hook it up, um, which I didn't do, but um, instead I decided to put an LED. Now, I did some testing and found out that this little blue, this five millimeter blue LED seemed to work really well. I tried a couple other LEDs and they didn't quite match well with the voltage. If you're not familiar with that, different LED colors have actual different voltage requirements. But in any case, that happened to be a, a, a happy accident because blue kind of goes with the uh, racket aesthetic. Also, this one did not have any standoffs, so I just took four small screws. Maybe you can just kind of see that there, four like little bitty screws and put them in there. And it gives it just enough standoff so that the, uh, you know, ends on the bottom don't don't uh, ground out if you're on some sort of a conductive surface. So those are just a couple little things I did. But Let's hear what this thing sounds like. Okay, now let's move on to the Baby 8 here. This is a really cool circuit. And so first of all, I did one mod on this one as well. I can never build a kit just as it comes, right? I did one other mod and I put the LEDs on the bottom instead of the top. The LEDs are supposed to go up on the top here. I put them on the bottom because I thought if I fold them out, it's gonna look cool because then as they light up, you're gonna have this little, you know, light behind it, but honestly, I probably should have just put them on top. I think it would have been better if I put them on top, but in any case, you know, here it is. Um, other than that, it's just exactly as the kit came. This one has quite a bit more components than the APC. You've got quite a few resistors and capacitors involved. Um, you've got several switches and pots involved, and so it does take significantly longer to build than does the APC. Um, but it is still a very simple, very well laid out kit. And um, additionally, this one has three ICs in it. And those ICs are not socketed on this particular build. So you have to just solder them right to the board. So pay very close attention to the way the ICs are, are, are um, oriented. Also, I do a technique where I just solder a couple legs on the IC and then move to the next one and then move to the next one and then go back so that they don't get too hot because ICs can be sometimes sensitive to pressure. Um, but anyway, still a very simple build. When it's all said and done, you're gonna come up with something that looks kind of like what I have here. And you've got 
two output jacks over here, one for the gate and one for the pitch. On this side, you've got a clock in, then of course you have your, your nine volt battery. Um, and then you've got, you know, all your pots. One of these is for the uh, clock speed and one of them is for the uh, duty cycle. And then of course these eight for the pitches. So additionally, you see this little header here at the end and you see a similar header on the APC. These are so the two can be used together, um, which I'll demonstrate that in a little bit. But first, let's go ahead and interface this with the modular synth over here. And so you can kind of hear what it does. Okay, so here I've got the Baby 8 plugged into the Eurorack. Very simple patch. I've just got an oscillator going into a VCA controlled by the envelope. The pitch out is going to the oscillator and the gate out is going to the envelope. So if I hit this, we should... We hear that. It's also going through a delay, by the way, which is why you hear that little repercussion there. Now, if I turn a knob, we should hear that pitch change. This controls your duty cycle, so as I turn this one here, you should hear uh, the sort of gate get longer. And they start to run together a little bit. And as I turn it down, they're really separate. This is the clock speed, so as I turn this, we can go very fast, oops, or very slow. So when we turn these off, we can get some kind of cool, um, more syncopated effects, and then I can kick them back on. Of course, the delay makes it a little bit deceiving, but... So get some cool effects there. We also have, if we switch it here to skip mode, or excuse me, to reset mode, that was skip mode. If we switch it to reset mode, and if I turn this, now it becomes a four-step sequencer. Or a three-step sequencer. Or a two-step sequencer, you get the picture. So let me demo one other thing. If we take our clock out over here, so I'm gonna plug this into the clock in. And of course the clock isn't running right now, so if I start it, Now, the modular is controlling the clock speed, and as I turn, speed it up, or slow it down, it responds. In addition, now I can use this signal to control the delay. And now the delays are in time with the... So that's kind of fun. Now, as I mentioned earlier, these two can be used together, and that's what these little headers here are for, which maybe you can just kind of see those. And so it also comes with a bunch of these little wires like this. And what you can do is if you put a wire in this top uh, pin, and then a wire in this bottom pin, and then you do the same on the APC, this will transmit power between the two. So this allows you to only use one battery to power both of them. Okay, so now I've got the nine volt plugged into the Baby 8, and when I hit the power switch, not only does the Baby 8 come on, but so does the APC. So again, so just using one battery controls both of them, so that's kind of a neat little feature. But in addition, it allows you to send like gate signals from the sequencer over to the APC to get some different effects. So let's take a look at that real quick. Okay, so there you have it. That was a quick look 
at both the Mini APC and the Baby 8 from Racket in the UK. Again, special thanks to those guys. They're making some great kits, and I really appreciate the... Um, the care package that was really really nice of them again it's great to work with some of these small companies because they really take care of folks that uh, that help them out so glad to be part of that if you like what i do on this channel i'd really appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button for me if you like this video please give it a thumbs up i'll see you guys soon